title, DeSantis feels the heat, anti-Trump pride stunt served with a side of Twitter roast. T-L-D-R. Ron DeSantis' attempt at showcasing his independence from Trump with an anti-Trump pride ad seriously backfired. Instead of garnering support, it only rained down a Twitter roasting party. Looks like political acrobatics just took a fiery, virtual turn. Full story. In an ill-fated attempt to distance himself from his fellow Republican, Donald Trump, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis put out an anti-Trump pride advertisement. However, the move seems to have ricocheted back at him like a boomerang from down under, attracting the infamous Twitter roasting instead of applause. Ah, when will politicians learn that the internet never forgets? Nor forgives. But let's roll back a bit, shall we? What was DeSantis thinking here? Was this an attempt to stand out from the pack and appeal to the wider electorate? Was he trying to shed his Trump-esque skin and grow a new, more colorful one? Or was this just a grand misstep in the intricate dance of politics? Fair skin, fair skin. In the ad, DeSantis strayed from Trump's typical rhetoric. But, oh boy, the Twitter sphere didn't take it lightly. Users from all around the globe geared up and served the governor a well-roasted portion of virtual reality. I guess even in politics, actions don't just speak louder than words, they scream. The ad, presumably meant to give off the vibe that DeSantis was his own man and not just a Trump echo, had the opposite effect. The brutal Twitter roasting just emphasized the ties between him and Trump, with the backlash highlighting the stark similarities rather than the differences. Ouch, talk about backfire. Now, why should you care about this? I mean, other than for the pure entertainment of the Twitter roast. Well, it serves as a crucial reminder that political posturing doesn't always translate to popular support. And it begs the question, can politicians successfully distance themselves from their controversial allies, or is it just a futile effort? In a world where everything is under scrutiny and nothing slips through the social media cracks, DeSantis' fumble reopens the debate about authenticity in politics. It shows us, once again, that the game isn't just about making moves, it's about making the right ones. And as this saga continues, one can only wonder, will DeSantis manage to crawl out from under Trump's shadow and establish his unique political identity, or will he forever be seen as a Trump clone, stuck in an infinite loop of Twitter roasting? So, what do you think? Can politicians break free from their past associations, or are they doomed to live under their shadow forever? Let's keep this conversation going in the comments below. Disclaimer, the information in this article is based on news and is not intended as any form of advice. Always consult with a professional for advice.